Welcome back to the channel guys. This is Tom from kudosoul.com. Today I finally have Tricker stoves to review. I wanted to do a review on them for a very long time but I didn't get the chance to do a review on them. But finally I've got around, I did some research, I made sure I have all the knowledge that I know and decided to do a video. Now uh, the, the blog is already online uh, so go check it out if you want to read about it and if you're curious about the sizing as well I will I will talk about it on the video but yeah please check out my website as well so yes trickers uh, the brand itself you guys probably know if you click this video they're from Northampton they're very very popular in the UK and worldwide and they produce very good and very fine footwear uh, they're not very high class or high end but they are still very pricey for people to afford and they do make uh, very nice footwears that last you a long time I already have a few pairs of trickers but these are my first stoves and these are in earth ox colored suede i do love these suede because the suede color uh, changes depending on the light if i i'll probably uh put a video if i go outside the suede looks more brown but if i look at it from the inside it looks more green i don't know how it'll look now in the camera but for with my eyes they look more earth toned meaning like more of a moss colored uh suede however probably in the camera it'll may it maybe look more brown or maybe look more green so yeah this is why i love these suede because depending on the um, actual lighting in in the in the house or outside the color totally changes and i think that's very cool and um, uh, I, I, don't know, I don't know if Trickers intended to do that, but yeah, I think that's very cool. So I'll talk about the sizing first before I move on to other categories. So the sizing on these are 11. So these are UK 11 and these fit me good. The last used for Tricker Stowe is 4497S, which is a uh, last that they use dif different. That's different from Burton, which is a shoe version of the Stowe, but they say go to true to size on these on the Trickers website. I usually wear 10.5 or 11 depending on the last, depending on the size. And also I do have another Trickers boots that's made of the same last, but I take half a size down for that one. And But I took 11 for this one, but it still fits me good. So I think I'm in between the size. 10.5 uh, is tiny bit too tight, but 11 is bit too uh, well, not wide but a tiny bit roomy so I do enjoy these with thicker socks and 10.5 with thinner socks so keep that in mind when you are choosing size for stow if you want a bit of room while you wear your shoes or if you prefer to wear thick socks please go ahead with uh, true to size your sneaker size I usually wear UK 11 for my sneakers if you want uh, to wear with a thinner socks and if you want your shoes to be tight go half a size down from your normal shoes and that should fit perfectly. One thing I want to say about tricker sizing is that tricker sizing is very, very tricky. This is not a plain word, but they are very tricky to meet, meaning they don't fit very perfectly. I, other shoes that I have, I, I have some shoes that fits like gloves, obviously, and other shoes that don't fit like gloves, but trickers, in my opinion, the sizing was very, very tricky so far the whole time. Um, I had to sell two of my trickers before because of the missizing. For example, my penny loafers, I have to sell them because I got 10.5. But of course, 10.5 didn't fit me. So uh, I had to sell them and I'm not going to try uh, to buy another pair of loafers from trickers unless I can try them on because of the trickiness of the sizing boots. Uh, it's a bit more easier because you can tie them up very tightly as well. So I think it's okay to buy them even if it's a tiny bit big. Obviously, uh, that's not okay. You know, you want to have shoes that size fits you perfectly. But uh, if, if you can't try them on, uh, I would recommend you to follow the 
the, the guide that I just gave you. So these Trickers stoves have Dianite soles. I do love Dianite soles. You guys probably know this. Dianite soles are very, very comfortable to wear, very, very sturdy to wear, and very durable to wear as well. And they're not slippery like the leather soles. But recently, I already told you guys on my blog that I slipped with Dianite soles before in the pub. But to be fair, the area was very, very wet and it was not taken care of. Uh, I didn't get hurt, it was a tiny bit of a slip, so it's, it's fine, it's fine. But yes, Dinosaur doesn't protect you from a very slippery surface. I don't think anything will, to be honest, at that point, because uh, I had a few drinks and then the surface was very wet. Uh, I don't know why it was wet and why it wasn't taken care of, care of but yeah, I slipped a bit. Um, and then I realized Dinosaur will not it's not a it's not a perfect sole it you know it, there are slippery surfaces uh, sometimes and uh, they do come in different soles so trickers make shoes with a uh, different soles for example ridgeway soles commando soles leather soles and i also think i've seen tricker stoves with uh, crepe soles as well so check them out and choose which soles you want and if the upper leather is uh, what you want as well go ahead and purchase them also you can refurbish these shoes meaning like you can send them back to trickers to put in different soles on them if you hate your soles it will cost a bit more money but if you really want those uh, soles on them please check them out and you can select what i think it's i think that's very cool because other brands for example crockett and jones or loke or uh, i don't know sanders in the in the uk i mean they don't really do that you can't really they they don't make shoes in various leather choices or various sole choices uh, i think it's something that trickers is doing very well in terms of their marketing strategy or production various production uh, products that they're producing for the consumers i think that's very very cool the outsoles are of course goodyear welted and they're goodyear storm melted and they're 360 degrees uh, meaning they can be resold once they are worn uh, to a different sole I've just said and I do like 360 degrees Goodyear Walter shoes because it looks more bulkier on your heels and if I want to look more slick of yourself choose 270 degrees Goodyear Walter shoes but these are uh, 360 degrees Goodyear Welted. Trickers is famous for using wooden shank now people some people hate wooden shank and they prefer plastic or metal shank because metal is obviously stronger than wood therefore people prefer to have metal shank but that you know makes your shoes very very heavy trickers have wooden shank so the shoes are lighter than shoes with metal shanks obviously and uh, gives you support that you need i do like wooden shank because they are airport friendly they are very comfortable to wear in the airport because you don't have to take your shoes off you can just walk through the machine without taking your shoes off the lining of trickers is made of calf leather the, the lining is very very soft and Trigger said on their website that you can almost wear the boots or shoes with bare feet but obviously they don't recommend that and I don't recommend you to wear boots or shoes with bare feet because you'll probably get blisters and uh, you're going to get sweaty and it's going to cause a lot of trouble for your shoes and your feet so I would say go for a nice clean pair of socks before you wear your shoes. Another thing that I really want to mention are about these laces. So the laces are basic laces that comes with the trigger shoes when you purchase them. They are very, very bad because they become undone no matter how tightly I tie them. They just become undone. Like I'm not a very, I'm not a weak person. I know how to tie my shoes, but like, like this, they just become undone if I walk and I just have to double knot them. Uh, it's not a pain to double knot them or I can just change the laces to something else. But obviously if I pay a certain amount of money, I expect some quality from a brand to supply me like laces that will be good enough for me to use. But uh, unfortunately, uh, you will have to double knot them, otherwise they're very easy to get undone. Maybe I'll wax the laces to uh, secure them even more. Also, Tricker Stowe has seven eyelets on the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I haven't seen any Tricker Stowe's with speed hooks. 
You guys know how much I love speed hooks, but yeah, I haven't seen any stoves with speed hooks so far. Other boots from Trickers have speed hooks, but not stoves. I think it's to keep the shoes a bit more formal rather than uh, casual kind of looking shoes. Uh, therefore, if you are looking for, and if you have to have speed hooks, these are not for you. But obviously people don't really mind speed hooks. I know some people who hate speed hooks as well. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. This is Tom. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about stove, please leave comments.